I'm Shigeo Ijui. I'm a torture sommelier. My job was to serve true justice. In our society today, if you commit a crime, you'll be tried in a court of law. He killed two innocent people! I seek the death penalty, asshole! But sometimes, when there's not enough evidence, the bad guys get away. I find the defendant not guilty. <laughs> what? How can that be? And after being released... Stop! Sorry, lady, but your husband tried to kill me first, so... Sometimes they end up hurting more innocent people. That's where I come in. Please help me! I punished criminals in my own way. Help! Ah! Die, you miserable prick. See you in hell. Putting the bad guys away for good. That was my job as a torture sommelier. Today, I was meeting with a new client. So... Tell me what happened. Okay. His eyes, it was full of hate. And when I found out who he was, I was surprised. Turns out he used to be a prison guard. So your job is to uphold the law. Why did you come to see me? I... I lost all hope. I don't believe it anymore. Then he started talking. Three years ago, he met this prisoner on death row. You're the new prisoner? Wow, he he's so big, scary. He was in his 20s, but he talked like a child. He had a mental disability. He had the intelligence of a five-year-old. He was inmate number 573. <laughs> feels so good. He was charged with murder and rape. What? How? He's not capable of this. They sentenced him to death? How's that even possible? He had lots of questions. He started looking into the case. Everything about the case was odd. This makes no sense. The prosecution basically forced him to confess. And his lawyer didn't even ask for a psychological evaluation? The lawyer didn't do anything to defend him. And the trial only lasted a few days. Something was up. He kept digging in further to find out the truth, but... Just drop it, okay? That's a direct order from the higher-ups. What? His boss told him to stop sniffing around, but he couldn't let it go. He had to do something. He didn't do it! He deserves a retrial! Please listen to me! He tried to save him, but it was too late. Number 573, get out! Yay! I can go now? Usually it took years for death row inmates to get executed, but... The higher-ups were willing to make an exception for him. There was nothing else the client could do. Number 573 was put down. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. He had this toy of a train in his hands when he died. It was a gift given to him by my client. He quit his job after that. He kept looking into this case. I kept digging and some powerful people were behind this. I think the guy who did it was a family member of some politician. I see. I must say that I'm impressed. No, it's nothing. It's still not enough, and I'm kind of stuck. If I keep going, they might actually kill me. But then, I heard about you from my informant. I understand. So, what would you like me to do? The look in my client's face changed. I want the guy who did it to pay for what he did to number 573! I don't play by the rules. You sure about this? He scuffed at me and said, Screw the law! I don't believe in it anymore. I understand. I'll take your case. An innocent man just got murdered for no reason. I had to do something to make this right. I contacted my informant to get some intel about 573's case. So, who is behind this? You know anything about it? Yeah, it's pretty messed up. Then he told me something shocking. Turns out the guy who did it was the son of the Minister of Justice. They said he was going to be the next Prime Minister. The election is coming up. That's why they needed someone to take the fall. And being the Minister of Justice, he had total control over the prosecution. I see. It all makes sense now. This son of his. He was arrested multiple times for assault blackmail and rape. This guy didn't deserve to live. But he's never been caught. They can always just hire people to make things go away, so... So where are they now? Tell me. Then he gave me the details on their whereabouts. They killed an innocent man to save their own ass. They're not getting away with this. By the time I'm done with you, you're gonna wish you were dead. Time to make them pay. I found the sun in no time. Ah! You know who I am? What are you?
you! Oh, I know who you are. You're a murderer. I guess he feels no remorse for what he did. Then I send some incriminating pictures to his dad to lure him out. Who are you? <laughs> I'm the guy that's going to make you pay for what you did. He killed an innocent man to save his own career. He deserved to die. I dragged them back to the torture chamber and tied them up. You! You crazy man! Yeah! You know who I am! Pathetic. Just pathetic. I know what you two did. You killed an innocent man. Do you feel any remorse? What are you talking about? Yeah! You got this all wrong! They wanna play like that? Fine. Kaoru Jojima. The guy you killed to save your own ass. So what? Screw that guy! Yeah! The world doesn't need him! <laughs> wow. Seriously? There was just no talking to them. Take that! Ah! And that! Ah! They pissed me off. So I started by crushing their legs. But I was just getting started. My feet! Rukawa, get the thing. Yes, sir! Rukawa handed me the equipment. It was a pear-shaped object made of steel. I placed the equipment near the sun's ass. You first. What are you gonna do? Take that! Ah! I jammed it all the way into his ass. Shut the hell up. All those women you raped and killed, this is for them. Ah! Blood came pouring out of his ass, but I was just getting started. I grabbed the handle and twisted it. Ah! Yeah! How does it feel to have your organs ripped apart from the inside? He started bubbling from his mouth. He was in a lot of pain. This equipment was known as the Pair of Anguish. You heathen! Get him! Ah! They used this during inquisitions and witch hunts. When you twist the handle on the end, the shell opens up. It was designed to destroy the human body from the inside out. And I just shoved this thing all the way up his ass, so let's just say he was in a lot of pain. Uh, hey now, we're not done yet, buddy. This is just the beginning for you. Next, I shoved the equipment into his father's mouth. It was covered in blood and feces. Your son made quite a mess. You better clean it up, just like you always do. Then I opened the shell. His mouth was destroyed. Most of his teeth were gone. They were both in a lot of pain, but they were still breathing. The pair of anguish wasn't designed to kill the victim instantly, so... So, if I leave you two here for a day or so, you'll probably die. What do you want to do? Oh, please! I could barely understand what he was saying. Last chance, kid. You want to live? Yes! Please! I'll do anything! Please! Anything, huh? Well then, I got an idea. Apologize to Jojima, the guy you two murdered. If he accepts your apology, I'll let you go. What? But he's dead! No worries. I can still hear him. I can communicate with the dead. What? What? He's a nice guy. If you sincerely apologize to him, maybe he'll let you go. Then he started apologizing to Jojima. I'm sorry, Jojima! Please forgive us! Please! Hello? Jojima? Hello? Huh. Bad connection. Sorry, I can't hear him. Just give me a few hours, yeah? What? I'm done for the day. See you tomorrow. No! Help! Please! 24 hours later, they were both dead. They always die so quickly. Pathetic. Yeah. I called my client and told him it was done. Then I went to pay my respects to Jojima. Mr. Jojima, it's done. Not sure if he got my message, but rest in peace. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out our other videos. And please subscribe to the channel.